Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jan Moses back here with a bit of a rant video. Uh, I logged into the game this morning to do a 100 overall Dwayne Wade gameplay video. And then I saw this weekly reward and it kind of upset me a little bit to the point where I thought, you know what? I know I don't really make a lot of rant videos on this channel complaining about the game. And between what we're getting here for this weekly reward card and a couple of other things that I'm going to touch on, I figured, you know what? We'll just make a really short rant video just to get this off my chest. Why are we getting Bill Russell, a card who was a grindable card two seasons ago, as the weekly login reward uh, for Friday, July 19th? Why? The previous two weeks, we've gotten cards that were lock-in rewards, I believe. Um, Chris Webber, I think, was in the Bionic collection, I want to say. And then I know Nick Young was in the Eclipse collection. Um, with both of those two players... Unless you rip packs or uh, locked in that collection and got lucky, you were not going to be able to use that Chris Webber or that Nick Young card. With Bill Russell, he was a grindable agenda through the bold promo in Season 6 a couple of seasons ago. And for that reason, I feel like a lot of people have this card. And the thing that kind of compounds this issue and makes it worse is every Friday, we only get one deluxe pack in the exchange that we can put our one Dark Matter and eight Galaxy Opals towards. Um, so it's just really annoying because now I have a number of Dark Matter sitting in my unopened packs and I'm gonna have to put this Bill Russell now towards that exchange and then wait another week to open up those Dark Matters and now we're gonna be sitting here on July 26th with all these Dark Matters. It's just so annoying. It's, it's not even greed, it's just like, I don't know, rude? <laughs> like this is just, it's so lame that Bill Russell is going to be our reward card for logging in every single day this week, one week after getting Nick Young. I feel like the majority of people um, who, who are still playing this game already have Bill Russell. And so this card is not moving the needle for anybody. Not that we need these weekly login rewards to move the needle, but we're in July. It's okay if you give us a better Dark Matter. You know, I mean, we should be getting, in my opinion, some of the lower tier 100 overall cards at this point. Like, make one of these cards a Kareem. You know, the Kareem that we got in February during All-Star Weekend, the first 100 overall. Why are we getting Bill Russell? This card does nothing for anybody. So that's really frustrating. Moving on. This is our locker code that we got during the Summer League game yesterday. Another Next Deluxe Pack. We've gotten like, what, three of these for free? Maybe four? Um, I've opened up, I think, two of these so far. And I've gotten Justin Edwards twice. We're going to go ahead. We're going to open up this pack in this video because um there's no reason for me to wait right for that deluxe pack next friday i can just put bill russell in there and then put eight galaxy opals in get my deluxe pack and then i can just keep going on with my life so yeah this is terrible hopefully we get more locker codes if this is the last locker code that we get in nba 2k24 that would be incredibly disappointing this was awful this was genuinely awful seeing this and then last but not least 2K accidentally leaked the Invincibles that we're getting on this upcoming Tuesday in their playbook update last Thursday. None of these cards are really all that exciting. Again, for the third week in a row, we're getting Invincibles that don't really move anybody. You know, I mean, if they change Patrick Ewing's jumper, that's cool. But Grand Hill only being small forward shooting guard eligible really sucks. Steve Smith, maybe he's going to be good. Who knows? Gary Payton does not excite me at this point of the game. Neither does Darren Williams. Maybe if they give one of them patty base like they gave Dwayne Wade, then maybe I'd be interested. I mean, I always love using Gary Payton cards, but I don't think so. And then Vin Baker, I mean, maybe we'll have to see. Again, none of these cards going into it. I'm looking at this, you know, at this promo right here. I'm not excited about any of these cards. So this is a big L. These three things that I talked about, the weekly login for this week, the locker code, this uh, set of uh, upcoming Invincible cards, these all just flat out suck, you know? And if you're looking at just this week alone, we're logging in every day for that Bill Russell card. And then on Tuesday, we have to grind for a chance to get one of these Invincibles. I'm just not excited, you know? If this Friday promo that we're getting uh, in six days from now is also not good and has players that we don't like, it's just going to be an all-time awful week for 2K when it comes to what we expect from them in July. Especially when you factor in that NCAA is dropping this week i believe it drops on monday so yeah this is terrible this is all terrible 
I would say that I expect better from 2K, but I don't. I mean, their whole theme this season, or this year, I would say, for the most part, has just been letting us down. So, yeah. Just wanted to get that off my chest. I'm now going to go and uh, open up this next pack. And then we can finally get into this Dwayne Wade gameplay video before I uh, put this game down for the rest of the weekend. So, my next pack is right here. Let's go ahead and open this up. And see, are we going to get a card that's not Justin Edwards? Let's see. Let's flip all. Here we go. Come on. Show me something good. Small forward. That's not Justin Edwards, is it? <clears throat> I don't think that is. Who is this? Ron Holland. I've seen so many people getting Ron Holland on the, uh, on the old Twitter timeline last night and this morning. I'm not surprised. I really feel like there are only a handful of cards that you can actually get out of these next deluxe packs. And Zach Eady is not one of them. So, yeah. That's the video. Sorry for the ranting kind of video. I apologize. I really want to get that off my chest. Just really, really disappointed with what 2K has been giving us, given where we're at in the stage of the game. I'll see you guys in the gameplay video. Take care.